are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. We finally left Luden Biel and headed up the valley towards the tunnel which would take us through to Spain, enjoying the scenery in the sunshine. Choosing to travel early on a Sunday meant the roads were quiet and there were no lorries. The tunnel works on a one-way system with traffic lights. We were lucky that when we drove up to it, the lights were green, so we didn't have to wait the 10-minute delay when the lights are red. Once through the tunnel and into Spain, the road snakes down the beautiful valley alongside the Rio Barossa and the Rio Cinca. Leveling out with dramatic views over the Pina Montanesa as we arrived in Ainsa. Good morning, welcome to Ainsa. Um, we arrived yesterday to glorious sunshine at 27 degrees. Um, so we went down, had a wine and a beer. So we didn't do any intros. Um, and then we thought we'd come hence out today. The, right, hence the voice. Hence the voice, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we've decided to go out for a walk today. Uh, we're staying here for three nights. And we're going to go up to... Torah Cotton. Torah Cotton. Which uh, is like a, a little castle, I think. Yeah, a castle yeah. at the top of the at the top of the hill, overlooking everything. So it's raining. It's a bit cloudy. I've got the drone, so if it does clear, I'm going to try and get that up there and show you um, the area a bit more. But uh, yeah, it's not too far. I'm not sure how far it is. It's not too far, but it looks pretty steep. So yeah, it looks we'll very see. steep. But uh, we'll tell you how steep it is. Well, let's hope this rain doesn't get any worse. Oh well, we're used oh, well, to it, aren't we? Well, yeah, it's just like Wales. <laughs> you know, the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plains. Yeah. Well, that's a lie, isn't it? Are we in the plains then, are <laughs> no. we? No, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so, yeah, rainy day in Spain today. It's a bit loose, this rock. Slippy, especially in this rain. Oh, shit. Maybe we should wait for a few minutes. See if that rain passes. We could do. I mean, how far are we from Just the top? I don't know. You want to find yourself a little bed there, me? A little perch. Oh dear. Let's give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty steep climb. Yeah, it was. It was really uh, slippy as well with the rain, but oh we we made it. We made it. We're up here now. So this is the Torah Cotton, I think it's called. I think so. Yeah. It's probably pronounced really wrongly, but um, yeah. So I think they're actually crowdfunding to try and fix the place because there's some signs down below. Yeah. Because it looks like it's literally about to fall over. It does. Yeah. Strong wind, and it looks like it's going to be just a pile of rubble. Yeah. And you can imagine with the droughts and the heavy rains and you know all that kind of stuff, it's probably made it even worse. Yeah. It looks like it's just about to go. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Erosion, just a lot of yeah. erosion. Now, the views up here would be fantastic on a day when it's not raining. Yeah. 
but it's raining so we can't see a lot <laughs> no can't get the drone up because no. it's raining can't really fly it's in the rain it's very windy but it's, it yeah. is raining yeah so, which is a bit of a shame but you know luckily we've got GoPro, so at least we can film it yeah so i'm not sure how many meters up it is i think it's about 300 oh, yeah. it? no I'm not, not quite sure as much as that um yeah but it's a pretty steep climb we oh distance 187 meters. 187 meters of ascent it felt yeah. like more than that but it was pretty much like that yeah it it's was. not very far it's just like that but now of course we've got to find our way down or we'll make our way down yeah so i think we're going to get poles out because it's super slippy i can it see is. one of us doing a doing ourselves an injury um we're going to put the cameras away though because there's no way we can film on the way down not with the dogs as well um because that's the other thing it's not just the two of us <laughs> No, we've got we, these two. We have these crazy mutleys. Yeah, little lunatics here. Uh, keeping us on our toes as well. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll, so we'll see you downstairs in the bar for a beer. Yeah. <laughs> so we're about, um, we've basically just done the worst bit. It started absolutely hacking it down with rain, didn't it? It did, yeah. It was really bad. It was like we were walking down a river. Yeah. That's how bad it was. But it's really clayey as well, so it's really, really slippery. So it's taking us ages to get down. But anyway. But, sod's law, bloody sun's come out now. Or it's coming out. More blue sky. And check out that view behind me. Awesome. Them, right? so let's walk down this river which used to be a path which is now a clay and rain stream stream yeah so this is what we've been walking down literally from the top but we're getting down to the bottom this now this is the easy bit yeah this is the easy bit so it's been like this all the way down these steep bits that we walked up well, I haven't really been uh, confident enough to get the camera out, but it's, it's now gone a little bit uh, easier, so I thought I'd just film it, but yeah. Of course, Rex with his four-wheel drive is doing fine, but it's me that's slowing him up. How are you doing? I'm all right. I've got three poles, look. <laughs> <laughs> three poles and move. <laughs> yeah, this bit's a lot easier compared to the bit up there. It was so steep. And the rain's actually um, helped in a way because it's meant that it's actually stickier. It's washed all of the yeah, clay off, off the, the stones, stones, hasn't it? And then the stones are quite grippy. Um, and you can kind of get quite a lot of grip. So it's, not, it's actually better than it looks. Okay, so we're going into a steep bit now. I think, Sean, you might want to have your yeah. own pole back. Yeah, it's looking a bit dodgy now. So... As we've said before, we'll see you in the pub for a beer. <laughs> we if we end, if we ever get there. Yeah, if we ever get there. <laughs> so we made it back to the van. Doggies are tied to a tree waiting for their bath. And I thought I'd just show you where we've just been. Um, I'm not sure if you'll see it on the GoPro, but I'll just back up a little bit here. And turn the camera around. And we've just been up there so and you know typically the sun's out now so the Murillo de Tau is four kilometers south of Ainsa the camping area has a few flat pitches and has all the usual campsite facilities we were able to use our Axi card to get a reduced rate. This place is not just a campsite though, it's actually a former village which was abandoned in the 1960s due to the expansion of the Mediana Reservoir. The village was later purchased, restored and turned into a holiday village.
as various old buildings, all restored to their former glory, and sits on the banks of the reservoir, with the Torre de Cotton overlooking the area. Morning. We have come away from the campsite today and we've actually come and parked in, in Ainsa Town Centre. Um, we haven't gone up to the old um, part of Ainsa which is quite narrow. We've just found this car park which has got some really lovely big spaces in it and they're not marked for coaches but we've parked here anyway and it's just no overnight parking so we should be fine. Sean's getting ready to go out on his bike. He's looking at doing, how far are you going today? About 18k. So about an 18k loop, I think, uh, that way somewhere. Um, and he'll meet us back here. And I'm going to take the dogs for a little wander up to the old town of Ainsa, which is um, up there somewhere. I don't know if you can just see behind me somewhere. There. No, there. There. So we're going to go and have a little wander around and then we've got a little bit of shopping to do before we head back to the campsite later. This is the last day of sunshine. Looks like we've got three solid days of rain coming in. So today's our last day to have a bit of fun uh, before we probably hunker down and get the computers out probably to do a bit of editing on our videos, earlier videos. But um, yeah, so Sean will be videoing probably when he's out on his uh, ride and I'll do a bit of videoing in the town and uh, we'll show you around Ainsa. Yeah, so the dogs and I have just walked all the way up the hill to the medieval bit of Ainsa. Um, we knew that there was a bit of an air at the top. I don't know if you can see behind me. It's massive. Um, it's just that the road is quite <laughs> narrow coming up and down. Although it didn't seem that busy, so um, we might give it a go another time. We're in the campsite at the moment. So, um, yeah, sorry, dogs are pulling me. Um, yeah, so uh, we might give it a go, but probably not when the weather's really bad. We'll probably hole up in the campsite for a few more days. And then maybe next week we might come up here um, and give it a try. So to get to the air, you have to come around this bend and go up that road there it gets even narrower so if you're in a big vehicle it might be a little bit tricky i've seen a few motorhomes going up and down and a big truck so you can see how easy it is with the cars two cars are fine but motorhomes definitely a bit more tricky The medieval hilltop village of Ainsa has a beautiful open square, the Plaza Maya, with traditional stone buildings housing cafes and restaurants. The narrow cobbled streets lead you to perfect views over the mountains and river. also lead you to the church and historical quarter which has now been declared a site of historical and artistic interest. also a castle and an eco-museum which has exhibitions on Pyrenean biodiversity and a wildlife refuge for birds such as eagles, owls and vultures that are unable to return to the wild. Mm -hmm. 
Ainsoe was on the Enduro World Series for many seasons and is a world-class mountain bike destination. View of the trails I rode in Ainsa, please head over to our other channel, the Search MTB. A link is in our description below. Come back to the car park. Images of the Mediana Reservoir are enjoyed for the amazing turquoise colours of the water with the contrasting greenery and sandy tones of the surrounding hills and mountains. Today the reservoir is almost empty, dry, cracked and barren with little signs of life. Severe drought has caused Spain's reservoirs to run at 36% of normal capacity during 2022. And parts of Spain are at their driest for over a thousand years. Was to head up to the Ordesa and Monte Perdido National Park to do a couple of big hikes. We had been reliably informed that dogs were allowed on leads, unlike the French side of the Pyrenees, so we were looking forward to it. Unfortunately for us, the weather had other ideas, and after months and months of drought, Mother Nature had other plans and it didn't stop raining heavily for five days solid. In the end, with no drier weather forecast on the horizon, we made the decision to head back to France. I'm not sure if you can hear me okay, but um, just wanted to let you know, we're making a mad dash uh, back into France. It's uh, been raining in Ainsa for about <laughs> five days and um, we were, well I was particularly nervous about coming back over the mountain road through the tunnel in really bad weather so we've got a little bit of an opportunity this morning to crack on and get back through, uh, back into France um, while there's a break in the weather um, although it doesn't look that good <laughs> up there does it Sean? Um, but anyway so we are on our way back to France um, we're probably going to stop um, at a village pretty much just the other side called saint uh, which we came through on the way up um, but we researched it a bit more and there's some um, mountain biking and, and uh, hikes that we quite fancy so we're going to stop there uh, tonight especially so wish us luck <laughs> hopefully we'll get through without too many problems oh my god it's a massive lorry ah. Um, and hopefully we don't meet too many lorries coming the other way um, and uh, yeah we'll let you know when we get there and that we're all good join us next time when we explore more of the French Pyrenees 